hello friends welcome to java swing tutorial here in this video we are going to look at j toggle button the j toggle button maintains its two state on and off state otherwise we can say it is in selected state and not selected state in the picture in the left hand side the top one is in unselected state and bottom one is in selected state and you can see how the swing framework renders the button the button is flat when it is in selected state but we use this selected and unselected state to display a different label so when it is uh, uh, in unselected state we are showing it as on and when it is in the flat state we are showing it as off but you can flip this label so if you don't like this appearance all right now let's go to the prerequisite here awt playlist is optional but if you watch this you will get a hands on and your swing tutorial go easy the very first video in this uh, tutorial is the base video here we create frame window and on top of this frame window we will place all of our other swing components so in this video we will place our j toggle button on top of this j frame window so the very first difference what you see here is a j toggle button from swing x component from swing x package and here instead of action listener you have to lay an item listener because it produces item event so j toggle button is the class name so we can create the instance of this uh, j toggle button by specifying the initial label so whatever string you specify here acts as a button caption and if you see even though the name is button since it's a toggle button it maintains a two state on off or we can say selected and selected state so even though it's a button since it acts as a checkbox it produces item event instead of producing the action event so the behavior here is uh, like a checkbox so it produces item event that means you have to override item listener i mean you have to implement item listener then override the method item state changed so you can make a call to is selected that will return either true or false true means the button is in selected state otherwise it's in unselected state all right now let's go to eclipse uh, demo so this is our frame window which was created in uh, very first video of this playlist so here we resized the set bounds so that the frame window size is as you are seeing here in this video all right so first we create a text field of length 30 so i'm putting it from javax.swing package so after this j text field we create j label from the same package javax.swing so now we have two component 
next we create our j toggle button from the same package javax.swing and if you see here during the construction we are giving a label called on next we add all these three components to our control host so we already got it using the git content pan so that's the control host then we are adding the controls to the content pan Now we will run and see how this uh, toggle button is uh, behaving. So and if you see this is our toggle button. When I click it, it changes the state and you can see how the button is appearing now. So when I click again, it goes back to the normal state. So this is off state and this will be on state. Now let's change the toggle state. So for that we have to handle the item event. So I just uh, half typed the word in Eclipse, then I am pressing a control space. So it shows that item, lace, item listener anonymous inner type. Because it looks that we are creating new instance and we are passing it to add item listener. So here it shows this as item listener anonymous inner type. Let me double click it. And if you see, when I double click, it automatically implements the item state changed. That means it provides the skeleton code. Now you can write your code here to perform the toggling state. Here, if you see, we are making use of toggle button tg button then we make call to is selected so this function will return either true or false so it's a boolean so if it is returning true then the button is in selected state here we are showing off then when it is in a unselected state we are showing it as on so if you want to switch the label, you can uh, do that also. So that when the button is in uh, selected state, you can show it as on label. Otherwise you can show it as off label. So now if I change it as read more, I can flip this. All right, now we will run this. If you see, now we are in on state and it states that mode change it from write to read. Then read mode is turned off and it shows that mode change it from read to write.
so that's all here so you can see how this button is changing its state so when it is in selected state it will go like this and selected state the button will come as embossed that's all here in this video that's all here uh, in this uh, video thank you for watching bye